Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Kim. I do a lot of daily vlogs. Um, I do life as a mom and life as a nurse. I know I've been gone for about two months and I'm so sorry. And as soon as I opened my YouTube channel, I got two new subscribers. Woo! Um, I only have 12, but thank you for every, every single one of you for making my YouTube channel grow slowly but surely. Um, so the reason why I've been gone for about two months is a lot of things has changed with our nursing career and pretty much what's been going on with our normal everyday life. Um, so if you have been following me throughout this whole YouTube journey channel, you do know that I do have a... Now she is three years old, guys. She just turned three years old and we had a little family get together. Um, her birthday was in January, but we ended up having her party a little later. It's not really a party, it's just... Um, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and my husband's siblings and their children. So we didn't have a lot of people in our house. Um, we usually have a big birthday party. I'll insert little clips here and there regarding it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing the blood. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, you don't do it. Good job. Take it up. You're so sweet. She was Oh. That sounds nice. Oh. Oh, Elias. Elias, good, Elias. Oh. Good job. Yep, she has gotten big, hasn't she? Three years old. Um, originally, I had planned for a, a dinosaur-themed birthday party, but uh, she is now into Little Ponies, My Little Ponies and Princesses, so we decided to combine them together. Also, another big change in our family is that we got a new dog. Um, his name is Noah. Uh, we got him off a... Um, it's actually my sister-in-law found him via... Um, it's a neighborhood group app and she sent it to me because she knows I've been looking for a puppy. And we got him home around December, so he is now a big boy. I will also insert a little clip of pictures of him when we got him and his pictures now. Isn't he so cute? Um, we're thinking that he was born sometime in November. So he's probably November, December, January, February. So he's probably about three months old. We're still working on the potty training. It's kind of hard since my husband and I work long, long hours and he, sometimes he is alone by himself for 12 hours or so, or maybe a little longer sometimes. So we're working on that. Okay, so you think that's all with a life changes? Nope, we still have plenty more of life changes. Uh, my husband, another one is my husband decided to um, go PRN on his full-time job at the hospital. And um, before he did that, he actually started a PRN job at another hospital. Um, he is done with that orientation, so he doesn't really need to pick up there uh, maybe more than once a month or so. Um, he did keep, like I said, the PRN job in the other hospital that he was full-time at, but um, we were kind of just worried about insurance purposes and he did not want me to go full-time yet to get um, benefits for us. And he wanted to take advantage of uh, the money and travel nursing right now. So he starts his first assignment at a state. Next, this, 
actually not next Monday, this Monday. Can you believe that? Um, we were just talking about it in January. Um, it was just kind of like a backup plan for, he was just getting stressed out and overworked and long hours that so he's been working at his full time uh, job at the hospital. He was uh, working more than 20 plus hours at a time. I don't even think that's legal, but you know, we don't have a nursing union here, so we can't really say anything, but the money was good. And um, we both knew that he couldn't work there that long with the amount of hours. Um, it's usually like 16 to 20 plus hours a day. So um, he did it for three years. So it's a good time now that he found something else to do. So the travel nursing starts, like I said, this Monday, and um, it's going to be a med surge floor. Um, med surge floor. He hasn't done med surge in a while. Um, he did something else. He did uh, acute dialysis and cardiac step down, and he's done LTAC. So he's actually been around. So this is nothing new for him. But anyways, he starts Monday. Um, even though it's out of state, the drive is actually not far from us. It's about an hour and a half. Um, good thing that we have actually family members, his side, that lives um, in that area. So um, they were kind enough to actually offer him, instead of using the, the housing stipend to live elsewhere, um, they just want him to go stay with uh, them while he's doing his rotation. Uh, the contract will be for 13 weeks. Um, a lot of people ask me, since it's an hour and a half drive, is he going to go back and forth from home and there? Um, we talked about it, about it, but for his safety, I would prefer him to actually um, just stay, uh, stay at the location. Um, that the hospital and our family's house is only 4.2 miles away, so it's not that bad. So we at we asked his uh, travel agency if he can have a block schedule so because he would prefer to do his three days 12 hours um, in a row so that on his day off he can come back and be with me and my daughter um the agency travel agency uh couldn't guarantee him this opportunity so we're just gonna make it work okay so another big change in our life within the past two months is we've decided to move um, if you have been following me for a little bit, you do know that um, when I do work, or when I do work and my husband's also at work, my daughter sometimes stays with my in-laws and they're at the age that now it's time for them to retire. Lucky, aren't they? Anyways, um, they are, um, we're going to buy their house from them. So pretty much my mother-in-law is waiting uh, to turn in her retirement paperwork. Uh, ooh, sorry, new scenery. This is actually my daughter's uh, room. Wow, I actually look better here. Um, when I was videoing earlier, I was in the uh, kitchen. Well, not really kitchen, the formal dining room. And I was facing the window so you could see everything, like my pores and everything. But this one looks better. I look better here. I should have just stayed here. Anyways, my in-laws are just waiting for our um, house to be sold. So my husband and I are in the process of trying to pack as much as we can so that um, our house will be um, show ready. Um, I'm just kind of stressing out about it because like I said, he's going to go on his assignment um, um, and on Monday and I'm still a working parent. I work three to four days a week still and I have a child so I'm gonna have a hard time doing so. We did start packing some last night. So our house is a big giant mess. We just have stuff all out. Um, I know upstairs in the attic, we it's pretty much like our stock room. So we have like a lot of stuff there. So I don't even know what's up there. I've never went up there. We lived in this house for what, seven, eight years. I've never went out there, up there. So um, in the process of trying to sort out my daughter's clothes. Um, look at this big pile of mess right here. Boys. Um, so that's pretty much all the, what the update says. Um, I'll let you guys know more about Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye!